weather conditions today are a recipe for fire danger. That's yeah. why we're under a next weather alert until 6 o'clock tonight. Meteorologist Kate Bilo in our next weather sphere. So it's not only the dry conditions, but the winds too, Kate. That's exactly right. It's been so dry, right? And so fire danger has been elevated, especially across interior South Jersey for the past couple of months. But when you factor in not only how dry the ground is, but also the winds, which will be picking up and the very low humidity later today as drier air starts to move in from the west, that all kind of combines to really enhance the threat for wildfires. And that's why we have this red flag warning. That's why we're in a next weather alert. We don't have any actual precipitation to talk about today. Kind of wish we did, but this is kind of a danger that you don't really see. It's just very dry. And if you're just kind of going about your day, maybe you have a camping trip planned and you want to build a fire like you normally do. Think twice about anything regarding any sort of open flame, even grilling on the back deck. If you get a flare up, things like that, never throw a cigarette butt out the car window even on any given day, but certainly not on a day like today. Don't discard matches. Make sure any kind of open flame is restricted and safely, safely disposed of because fire danger remains high all day long. Gusty winds over 30 miles an hour. You can see it's another bright, sunny, dry day. So again, this is kind of an, an unseen danger for the afternoon. The sun shining temperatures above average once again, and we are running so far above normal. Now we have a lot of November to get through. If you look at the October November time frame, as of now, it's the warmest October November to date that we've ever had. However, we have not gotten through November yet, so we still have to see what the end of the month has in store for us. It is going to cool down in the coming days, but for now, we are 12 degrees above average when you look at the high temperatures across the region. And that warmth, coupled with the lack of rain, has continued to lead to the drought conditions worsening across our area. The new drought monitor for the nation came out yesterday, and we now have 10% of our area in an extreme drought. That's Atlantic County, parts of Burlington County, and Ocean County. The rest of our area, pretty much the entirety of it, 83% in a severe drought, and 100% of the area is at least in that moderate drought level. This is the most widespread severe drought we've had in our region since 2002. Right now it's 50 degrees. The winds are starting to pick up a little bit, but it's really after the noon hour that I think you'll start to notice those gusts. You'll start to see any of those loose leaves on your on your grass, loose leaves down the street starting to blow down the street. Dew points are dropping and the humidity levels dropping as the day goes on as well. So here is that fire weather warning, that red flag warning in effect for the entire area. That goes until six o'clock. But once six o'clock hits doesn't mean fire danger really diminishes. It may get a little bit better, but the winds are still strong overnight and there's still no rain. So even if we don't have a red flag warning tomorrow, still elevated fire danger. Important to keep in mind if you have any plans for your Saturday. Taking a look at clouds and radar again, you can see there's really not much going on out there, at least for now, but we do finally have some rain in the forecast by Sunday. So today is just sunny, windy with that high fire danger. Rolling it through today, you can see no precipitation. Winds are very strong this afternoon. Secondary cold front comes through dry tonight, and tomorrow is another sunny, dry, brisk day, but it is noticeably colder. We're back to normal, which is going to feel cold compared to the warmth that I just showed you so far in November. Here's the good news. By Sunday afternoon, showers overspread the area. Even some steadier rain possible Sunday night into Monday morning, and some of our models indicating that we may pick up as much as a half inch to possibly even three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain by the time we get into Monday morning, especially north and west. You can see these numbers, half inch, 0.8 in Reading, 0.7 in Lancaster. Not a ton of rain, but every little bit helps. And then next week, another chance for showers late Wednesday into Thursday. So the pattern is shifting at least a bit.